So we're down in the battery room and uh, you can see that I've got some corrosion on here. So we're going to take them all out, clean them up today. And uh, I think we're going to try the hot water versus baking soda methods. So on my inverter setup, I've gone ahead and uh, flipped these breakers here. And this allows me to run fully off the generator. So I can just keep some lights on in here while having the inverter off and the solar charge controller off and the, any power from here to the breakers and all that turned off. Okay, I've moved outside and I should point out that the white on top of these is just uh, leftover baking soda from when I was cleaning up some acid spills inside previous to this. Um, this jug here is just uh, a mix of baking soda and tap water, just the regular Arm & Hammer stuff. It's one tablespoon per cup that's in there. And then I've got a kettle of warm water that we'll try as well. Okay, so this is the uh, water and baking soda. As you can see it kind of reacts with the um, acid there. I'll let that one sit for just a minute and I'll grab the hot water. And this is hot water on a different one. It actually looks like it's working better. Yeah. You know, put a little hot water onto the this one here. Still not quite the little brush. for just the baking soda. You can still see it reacting. So there might be something to be said for having that mix just to help break it down some more. Let that one sit. Yeah, I'd have to say the old baking soda works uh, works pretty good. Yeah. So I've gone and cleaned the batteries off some water there as well and gave them a little scrub. I'm just going to use a funnel and some uh, special water. Not that fancy. This is deionized. You can use distilled as well. Um, just to top off my batteries before I bring them back inside. And then we'll give them uh, a top off charge. Make sure they're all equalized. And we should be good to go again. Okay, so I'm hooked back up down here. Um, it's always important to make sure when you're done that uh, I'm running four 6-volt batteries and 24 for series. Um, so just making sure that positive to negative, positive to negative, positive to negative. 
and then my inputs to my inverter positive and negative going up. On the inverter, I'm going to start by turning the solar back on. So it's telling me that the batteries are reading uh, 24 volts and it's just booting up. I'll just give it one more second there. So it's trying to do a bulk charge from the panels outside. And what are we getting? I think we're only getting 100 watts at the moment. Must be some shade there. But I'll come and I'll turn the power to the inverter from the batteries on. And then it's going to need, because um, it's been totally lost power, a full reset. So clock time, um, resetting your absorption charge times and bulk charge times and float times and all that stuff is available from your uh, battery manufacturer. So in this case, I'll just go to Roll's website and they've got info on the series of battery as to how to set up the, the charge controller for everything. Okay, so we're all set up again. Uh, I've got everything set in the inverter as per the manual. And uh, just remember, battery acid, very corrosive. Uh, if you get any of the liquid, even just from rinsing on your clothes, you'll end up with little pinholes and stuff. So old clothing, gloves are probably a good idea. And uh, that's it for now.